Loin d'abord. Hi guys and welcome to a real quick little video. Um, I was taking apart one of my uh, old 22s. This is actually a Stevens, Stevens Arms um, West Point model. I believe it's a. Hold on, let me let me make sure. It is the 287 or 287N rifle. It's a 22 rifle, semi-automatic. Um, this is the internal zone. I got this rifle from uh, my grandfather and I don't think he's ever taken it apart <laughs> or he ever did take it apart to clean it and stuff. I did take apart the uh, pull out one of the pieces and cleaned it off and it's actually looking real nice once I got all the gunk off of it but just to let you see that uh, just some of the stuff that's on this these parts and stuff and the craftsmanship on this is really nice you can see the nice metal work and uh, just how they really I mean this is an old 22 so this is some of the stuff these are the little rags I was using to clean off these parts and this is just from uh, this piece here but I'm gonna clean up the rest of this and then uh, put it back together and I'll show you a little video on it so I just wanted to give you a little idea of man years of junk that's on this thing and it still operates fine I took this out and shot it and uh, it still worked really good even with all this gunk on here but definitely a uh, interesting little you know tad bit so uh, I'll get back to you after this one uh, thanks for watching you guys have a good one okay guys here's a quick little look at the rifle all broken down this is the back half you have the uh, trigger housing here um, I didn't take that apart. I didn't want to mess with all the pins and get all the little pieces and stuff So basically I just sprayed it some WD-40 cleaned it all out and it works fine um, There's the uh, feeding tube where the 22 rounds actually come into the gun here in the front end You have a small hole here. This is actually the hole for the uh, for the um, The bolt to be locked back into the lock position with the charging handle comes through the hole uh, um, on the uh, on the top, actually, you see the actual bolt itself. It's actually uh, four pieces. You have the firing pin here on the top, which goes with the full length of the bolt. You have the front end of the bolt and the back end of the bolt with the spring. You also have the charging handle. So uh, once assembled, you know it fits all together, just like that, and uh, fits into the gun. Then you would go ahead and put the end of the spring here into this end cap here which just screws on the back of the 22 itself and has the uh, safety on the back end that's a little safety actually this is metal here in the front the uh, the back end is actually a plastic so go figure but um yeah really neat simplistic design yet elegant so with that i'm gonna get this um I'll put it back together and then I'll give you a little look see now one thing I didn't note on it is that it has really quick two extractors on it I thought that was really cool sort of reminiscent of my Mossberg I guess but uh, with that I'll go ahead and reassemble and then give you the final product so you have a good one. okay so I reassembled the gun and I figured out another little thing now the reason why I had taken this apart wasn't really to get it all cleaned out and stuff but it was because I was having issues with the uh, the bolt not locking back it just wouldn't come back far enough to lock back on uh, on the lock it back into the gun and um, I thought that that bolt was actually caught up or maybe it was a little dirty inside and that was preventing it coming back just that few little inches not even inches millimeters but um, to lock back the bolt so when I cleaned it all out and stuff, I reassembled and tried it again, and I wouldn't do it again. And what I figured was that the actual piece here in the end cap was actually screwed in too tight. Now, I actually unscrewed it one rotation, and then put it back together, and it works fine. So whoever tore it apart last time to clean it, um, which was probably a long time ago, as dirty as it was, uh, didn't uh, reset it too far in and that wouldn't allow it to lock back so with that uh, it's locking back now and uh, works fine and that's a look at the uh, Stevens Arms 22 you guys have a good one be safe take care and uh, we'll talk to you soon